Hey, what's up everybody? Got another review for you guys today. It's the Bishop Microangelo. Um, this is made by Franco Viscovi. Um, he has some really great machines on the market right now. Um, and this happens to be one of them um i i really like the microangelo machine um it's very very smooth and can work with both cartridge needles and standard tubes and needles as well so this is the box that it comes in and um when you open it up you get a instruction manual um, it pretty much explains to you what to do and what not to do. Like, uh, there's no lube or grease needed for these machines. It's a direct drive machine. It's aircraft aluminum. And it has the world's first interchangeable magnetic cam. It is RCA only. It is also made in the USA and it has a one year warranty on all parts. They also give you recommended voltage and you also get a 3.5 millimeter stroke cam magnetic thing which comes off like so. Here, let me try to uh, zoom in on this. Yeah. Okay, you can just pop it off like that and switch it out and put the other cam on. The other cam is right there. You get extra O-rings and two Allen keys if you decide you want to take the motor out, uh, which I wouldn't see why you would need. It uses the same vice like on the Phantom and the Maggie, the Magi, however you say it, Mr. Nico Hurtado's machine. Um, have not used that one yet. But uh, other than that, uh, this machine is built really well. It's very, very light. It's about, uh, it's about two ounces. Um, you have your... Serial number right there, made in the USA, blah, blah, blah. Microangelo stuff, Bishop's logo. RCA right there, gold plated. Well, let's, uh, let's throw a tube and a cartridge in here and see how it runs. These are, of course, brand new cartridges, um, only used for testing purposes. And uh, we'll throw this plunger bar on here. And we'll get that on there. Vice works really great. Simply tighten it and it, it's there like it stays in place. Very nice and light, very nice maneuverability. So let's uh, let's run this machine. So Right now, I am at, I would say, seven volts, and it runs really well at seven volts, but you could go all the way down. That's five volts. 
that's four. That's three volts. At three volts? Still strong enough to put ink in the skin. To do dot work, to do whip shading. Very, very nice. Very strong machine. And can push any size cartridge. smash that color in you can do any type of lining you want with it it really really runs nice um very smooth as well as you can see and uh we're running at uh five volts right now um i like to use this machine for color packing, uh, in between 5 and 7 volts. For lining, I'd say maybe about 9 volts. Let's say, let's put a line there. Line and cartridge in here. This is, let's see where we're at. That's 7 volts right there. And... Strong. Even if we go down to let's say like three volts right now, that's that's a powerful machine. There's not many machines out there besides the Axis Direct Drive and some other direct drives out there that have the same power. Like, I'm making it shake, baby. <laughs> This right now is at two volts. And that's where the power ends. So, yeah. As far as the power supply that I'm using, and I and you could hear the uh, motor speed up and kick in, and one of the reasons why I like to have that is that the cartridges that use membranes, they're stiffer, and I only use cartridges with membranes. These are from Peak Needles, one of my sponsors. These are the quartz cartridges. These are the only cartridges that I use with all my machines, and I absolutely love them. I've had no issues with them. They're very consistent. Um, but yeah, that's the... Michelangelo, great machine, um, and like I was saying on my power unit, my critical atom, it has the ability to jump start, um, but you could always start the machine at a higher voltage and then bring it down um, to around 5 or 4 or 3 to get those uh, dot um, shading techniques that people are looking for with direct drive machines, um, if that's the type of tattooing style that you're into and stuff. And um, also, if you just want to do really soft shading, I guess. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's a, it's a pretty amazing little machine. Um, Definitely one to have in your arsenal of machines. Um, so the next uh, next machine I'll be reviewing is the Cheyenne Hawk Pen. And uh, this is going to be a review unlike any other review out there. Um, I'm literally going to take the machine apart in front of you because I want to show you guys something. Um... Yeah, so you guys stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be the Cheyenne Pen, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Um, once again, check out my sponsors, Pete. They make the Cayenne Pen Machine. One of my favorite all-around rotaries. Um, one of my favorite black inks to work with. Dynamic baby, best black out there, and of course, for color, world motherfucking famous every day, all day. 
So yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.